Hi everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to my film and TV channel, one of our regular features. We'll have a look at uh, Freeview UK TV and see, see what's new and what might be old that's worth a rewatch. Certainly, some films this week that uh, I do like that are, are worth another watch because it's not the greatest week on the actual new dramas and stuff. There's the odd one, so some certainly some good documentaries, etc. etc. So well worth a watch. So join me today with you as we have a look through what's gonna worth watching from Saturday the 15th of May uh, till Friday the 21st of May. Yeah, I mean May's flat be soon be glorious June, won't it? I'll be sweating in my t-shirt. Probably not here in Manchester, but hey here you go. So join me today for this please check out my other little uh film and TV stuff, movie reviews, TV drama reviews, uh, cinema releases, yes, even one of them is coming out in the next couple of days, fantastic, please check that out, and you'll see also stuff for my uh, football team, Manchester City, the champions, the champions of England, Manchester City as I'm recording this, we've just uh, had that confirmed yesterday evening, so check out that, if you have any interest in, in football and Manchester City, or you know someone who might be, point them in my direction, we're very grateful, do loads of City stuff on there as well, but today it's film and TV, we're going to look at TV, obviously, today, so we're going to have a look at uh, Using our old favourite, our old regular thing, uh, we have a little break from time to time, but back to the radio times this week, so we're going to have a look, look through there. Please, if you want any friends or followers on Facebook and Twitter, I do post loads of TV and film stuff on there as well, so if you seek me out, follow those links on screen, I do... Uh, check every two or three days and follow and friend everyone back on there. All comments and welcome. What are you planning on watching this week yourself or anything to do with film and TV? And uh, if you haven't got time for a comment, just give us a little thumbs up. That's great. It's great to get views, but it's it's nice to get thumbs up. I get quite a few for my football uh, vlogs, but uh, not as many for these. So please, just just if, you, if you're still watching, if you're still watching and interested in this, please just give us a little thumbs up. It'd be fantastic. Much appreciated. Right, on to Saturday the 15th of May. And we start on Channel 4 at 7 o'clock. Yeah, George Clark. Yeah, George Clark. Yeah, National Trust Unlocked. One of six, this is. Architect is granted social, special social, special access to some of the UK's most impressive historic homes during lockdown. Very lucky but that's one of six so if you're interested in that sort of uh, George Clark and uh, like what he does yeah he's very lucky to be getting those during lockdown wasn't he I wish I wish I I, I have a thing about going in old warehouses and old factories of the derelicts I just it just gives me a buzz and I think uh, walking around a, a, a stately home when hardly anyone's about yeah that would certainly give me a buzz that's Channel 4, and at 11, staying with Channel 4, 11 to 10, we've got a great little film, uh, a crime thriller, Sicario, yes, uh, with the war between Mexican drug cartels and the American authorities becoming increasingly vicious, highly regarded FBI agent Kate Mesa is sent to join an operation to bring down one of the most ruthless gangs, of course, uh, Emily Blunt and Benicio Del Toro, of course, in that great little film, Channel 4, that's 11, 10. And same as Saturday, the last thing we're going to look at, Channel 5, yeah, 9pm Channel 5, you like your royal stuff, new Charles and Harry, father and son divided, yeah, close up look at the complex and often strained relationship between Prince Charles and his youngest son, I think he's got a strained relationship with most of the British uh, royal royal liking public now, hasn't he, that's the problem. On to Sunday the 16th of May, ITV, yeah, it's not... Uh, unusual this is so I've watched it a couple of times um, obviously I'm a big Harry Potter fan I don't mind the Harry Potter I like the book I prefer the books but the films are okay but of course on ITV 7.30 you've got uh, go back to 2016 Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them of course uh, adventure inspired by the book of J.K. Rowling uh, Magizulist Newt Schmeinder and his friends must capture an escaped magical menagerie before Manhattan wizardry is outlawed it's not, not fantastic it's okay it's not, it's not uh, one of my favourites but it's definitely worth a watch if you've not watched that that's ITV 7.30 Channel 4 in the afternoon yeah this is one of, this is one of my favourites again not overly like this one but I quite like this I did, did like the original Her Jay's Adventures of Tintin remember that well yeah we've got the Adventures of Tintin The Secret of the Unicorn of course the 2011 animated version with the voices of Jamie Bell and Andy Serkis. That's on at 2.15pm in the afternoon on Channel 4. Again, one of my favourite animations of the last few years. And Channel 4, you've got to go underwater. Yeah, I'm a bit scared of water. I've only got a life jacket on, I'm all right. But uh, yeah, I do, I do like cruising and things, but I say I have to feel safe. I'm not the greatest swimmer in the world, so I'm never overly comfortable in water. But uh, yeah, the Titanic, yeah, well, that didn't do very well, did it? We've got uh, 7.30 Channel 4, Titanic into the heart of the wreck, of course. 
Uh, and this, of course, we've seen all this before, but uh, it's significant, this, because um, the world's famous shipwreck is being consumed by iron-eating bacteria, which experts fear will sweep away the mythic line of secrets. Uh, so there you go. The film relates to the greatest Titanic expeditions over recent years. So, yeah, before it goes, perhaps we need a little bit of reminder of just how fantastic that, that those images are at the bottom of the sea, unfortunately. On to Monday the 17th of May, we've got a new series, yeah, another crime thriller. So this is this is uh, exciting me. One of six episodes, this, uh, starring Laura Fraser and Julie Hesmanhal, Elry Thomas and Helwyn Glynn. Four women with a tyrannical boss alight on a prank to get their revenge, only for their actions to have terrible consequences. So that's the packed BBC one, 9pm Monday evening. And ITV have got one as well, another. So two drives on the same night, you're going to have to record one of these. Uh, nine o'clock again, Innocent, a new series. Series. The first season, season was very, very good, first series of this. This is series two, a uh, totally different story. The crime drama returns with a new cast and storyline showing over the next four nights, so that's great. I like to binge watch anyway. Uh, five years after the death of 16-year-old Matty Taylor in the Lake District, the woman convicted of his murder is found not guilty and released from prison. So there you go, that continues every night then. ITV 9pm, The Innocent. Channel 4, again 9pm, so you're going to have to get your record button going, aren't you, with this one? Uh, yeah, very serious subject matter. Catching paedophiles, crime and punishment. Yeah, this is on 9 o'clock, Channel 4. This documentary explores the serious challenges of investigating and prosecuting this disturbing crime and how to manage predators when they've been caught. There you go. So that's uh, a little bit more gritty. And they say the dramas are quite gritty in themselves, aren't they? But that's real life. Uh, BBC4, Tuesday the 18th of May. Eight o'clock. I love it. I love a bit of Eurovision. I prefer the voting bit. I, I know we don't ever win anymore, but it's one of the, I sort of fast forward through a lot of the songs, I have to admit. But uh, yeah, I used to watch it from a kid. I used to love Eurovision Song Contest. So we've got the first semi-final on BBC4 on Tuesday the 18th of May. If that's of any interest to you from eight o'clock. The only, the only day downer for me i'm not a big fan of ryland but uh yeah he does sort of ruin it for me but uh, i'll try and fast forward through his bits he does i sort of didn't like him then i did like him but now i don't like him again but hey, that's 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 my prerogative isn't it uh bbc4 following on from the eurovision song contest the first semi-final obviously it continues the next night with the second one uh we've got extra life a short history of living longer that's at 10.05 on bbc4 a new series documentary series in which best-selling science writer stephen johnson and historian david Olusoga investigate 300 years of scientific breakthroughs there you go so if you like your medical stuff and you want to learn what how we solve all these uh, these problems that's the thing to watch channel 5 10 p.m ben fogel you like a bit of ben fogel this is series 10 so he's, he's quite popular but just one of three episodes uh, adventure stays with annalisa who is building an alternative life for herself and her toddler in the coastal forests of southern sweden so ben fogel new new lives in the wild is back for another season if you enjoy that sort of thing. On to Wednesday the 19th of May. BBC 2, 9 o'clock. You like a magic mushroom, do you? Well, there you go. The psychedelic drug trial here. BBC 2 with exclusive access to Imperial College London. This film follows a team of scientists and psychotherapists as they carry out an innovative that, for the first time ever, a psychedelic drug... I uh, can't even say it. Celecibin, the active ingredient in magic mu mushrooms, is tested against a standard antidepressant on a small group of participants with clinical depression. Yeah, I feel a bit depressed myself. Uh, get us a magic mushroom, will you? So that looks interesting. Nine o'clock, the psychedelic drug trial, BBC Two. On to Channel Four. Yep, yeah, back, back from, uh, back to royal stuff. Uh, we missed up Paul Burrell sharing his stories again. Not my favourite guy, to be honest with you, but uh, a very royal baby from cradle to crown. That's nine o'clock. Channel 4. Ahead of the arrival of Harry and Meghan's second child, this documentary celebrates what it really means to be born into the royal family. So there you go. If you want a new royal fix. On BBC 4, 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, it'd be like a bit of, bit of jet engines, bit of jets. Cold War hot jets. Yeah, 10 o'clock, BBC 4. One of two episodes. Britain emerged from the Second World War in financial crisis. Yeah, I don't don't we play paid the Yanks off till about uh, the 1990s, did we, or something like that? Yeah, it's nice of them to do us do us favours, wasn't it? Uh, but the development of the jet engine gave hope for the future. James Holland examines how the jet became a lucrative export and a powerful piece of military hardware during the Cold War. So, yeah, there's a good uh, a good documentary 
Pardon my little bit of politics there, my apologies. Uh, BBC One, Thursday the 20th of May, 9 o'clock. Yeah, documentary of the week, according to the Radio Times. This is a very gritty, powerful stuff. Again, subnormal. An examination of one of the biggest scandals in the history of British education in the 60s. Gus John moved from Trinidad to Britain to become a priest and was soon contacted by black parents worried about their children's schooling. Together with other educators, John realised that the education system was rigged, get rigged against black children. So again, another a powerful documentary we've got a few of those this week that's bbc one nine o'clock channel four yeah just a bit lighter channel four ten o'clock we are lady parts an interesting net documentary i'm sure this uh, documentary comedy i'm sure i'm sure this will split of opinion as well a new series this is one of one of six we are lady parts one of six play something it's entitled the first episode Anarchic Muslim all female punk band rehearsals are cut short when lead singer Sarah insists that they are need they need a lead guitarist. The whole series will be available on all four. So I might give that a binge watch and uh, see what, what it offers us. I'm sure that'll polarise opinion, that one. Uh BBC Four a great little film. I watched I watched this a couple of years ago. Uh, not not the most fantastic film, it's just, just well put together, just just nice to watch. It's Tea with Mussolini, ten oh five on BBC Four, part autobiography biographical period comedy drama by Franco Zeffirelli of course starring Cher, Judy Dench, Joan Playwright and Maggie Smith of course all about fascism and uh, Mussolini in the, in the 1930s with British ladies in Italy etc so that was always worth a watch and on to Friday, the last day of the week, yeah, BBC One, 10.45. So again, I'm going three films, this three films and dramas this night. Uh, there's not, not much else on, to be honest with you. You've got The we it Witches of Eastwick, yeah, the original Jack Nicholson one, not the revised one. So that's on at 10.45 on BBC One, of course, a great comedy drama where nothing ever happens, does it, in sleepy New England town of Eastwick, but that's about to change when three bored, independent women make a wish for a dynamic man to enter their lives, and he certainly does, doesn't he? Uh, BBC Two. To, again a bit more of a, a drama a bit more of a, uh, a serious drama uh, a biographical drama based on Vera Britton Testament of Youth uh, Vera Britton's memoirs with Alistia Vikander and Kit Harrington spring 1914 Vera is determined to study at Oxford when the war is declared she heads to the front great little uh, biographical drama that testament of you give that a watch 1120 bbc2 and to finish off one of my favorite horrors of recent years i'm looking forward to the sequel which is out very very soon i believe yeah it's a quiet place one of my favorite horrors of recent times back to 2018 it's only three years old now of course, after blinding sectoid monsters with super sensitive hearing wipeout, most of humanity doesn't. It's not as daft as it sounds. Uh, a family of survivors adapt to living in silence, but with a new baby on the way, their noiseless way is about to become a lot more difficult. Of course, a fantastic story. As I say, it's it's one of those um, you know sounds silly, but uh, it's actually all about the characters. It's all character driven and all the the jeopardy, isn't it? So uh, it's a great little film, in my opinion. Right? If you said Bernie, you can only watch one thing uh, this week. I think there's two. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to the dramas. You know, I'm a big drama fan. And I think uh, The Pact that starts on BBC One, 9 o'clock on Monday the 17th, I'm thinking, I've, The Pact appeals to me. Uh, obviously, that little uh, comedy drama about the Asian punk, uh, Muslim punk rock band appeals to me as well as uh, later on in the week. But... Uh, and the other thing, of course, is Innocent, uh, which obviously on ITV, a new series. So series two of The Innocent, the first series was very, very good. So those two, I watched those two things. I can't, you can't just tell me to watch uh, one this week. I watched those two and I'll have a watch of that comedy as well. But uh, if you said, I could only, I'm only allowed to watch three things. There you go. I've got three things for you. Though. There you go. Well, anyway, what are you looking forward to? Let me let me know what you're looking forward to watching over the next week. Not a bad week. I said it was a quite quiet week, but quite a mix of stuff there, as it usually is. So uh, enjoy whatever ever it is you watch. Anyway, let, let me know what you think if you watch something and you're quite impressed with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do with the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. Till we meet here again on the Film and TV channel, or perhaps have a flit across. Have a look at the Champions channel, the Citizen channel, Manchester, my Manchester City football channel. Whatever it is, all I ever ask of you is please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.